<laughs> Fancy meeting you here. You guys all here to see me? Is my is it me? Is me you're you here to see, sir? You know, every time I start, every so I have this set up on the OBS. If you're familiar. There's I have different scenes, and each scene, like I have the the waiting scene that you see, please stand by, and then I have the uh, our show will start soon. Then I have my intro, and then I have my main. My main is this. This is the main that you see when I go live. I have no idea like what I'm gonna say before, before I go on ever, never. And I know I say that, but you guys are probably like, yeah, right. He's got like a little plan. I no fucking clue, none. I have no clue what I'm talking about today. I know. Now, yesterday, vape at five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me introduce myself. I'm Black Cat. This is your uh, vape at five. Welcome. It's five o'clock Eastern time. The only time. I've had some arguments about time uh, in this show. Let me let me assure you of one thing. There is only one fucking time on this planet. It's my time. It's five o'clock Eastern time. Everything else is just magic. It's just magical time that doesn't exist in my world. So if I say 5 o'clock, that means 5 o'clock Eastern. <laughs> Write that down, <laughs> Tim. Well, Tim's in my... Saturation Station's in my uh, time bracket, so he knows. Yesterday, we uh, we we featured a builder, um, Mass Coils. I, um, I didn't get really get enough time to actually... Uh, I, I felt like I, I there was more that I wanted to show you guys. So we're going to feature him again today. I, I basically kept the uh, Instagram up where it was. Excuse me. For those who don't know, when I feature somebody, I basically show their Instagram builds. Um, Instagram, if you don't know and, and you're not into building, if you want to be into building, I was told a long time ago that you have to be on Instagram. And they're right for the most part. I mean, you can be on Facebook. There's groups on Facebook like Coil Wars um, that's run by Rambo where you can get a lot of great ideas or a lot of meet a lot of great builders and a lot of good um, I, uh, uh, information on building. People do lives on Facebook. But I think it's in a traditional sense, I think you really need to be on Instagram. Um, and and I don't I don't say that to like take away from any other any other social media format. That's not not my intention. But when I feature somebody, I show their Instagram builds. Now how Instagram works is it's basically just a bunch of pictures. Like, I'm saying this for the people that are like my age, because I had no idea what the Instagrams was before I got one. I remember I was like just building, and I was on like a Facebook Live. I think it was Proby's. I was on Proby's Facebook Live, and uh, I was watching, and I somebody said something about, you know, Instagram, and I was like, what the fuck is Instagram? They're like, uh, yeah, you got to go over to, you know, Instagram's where all the builders are. I was like, oh, oh, okay, well, you know, I build. I probably should be over there. So that's how that all started. Anyway. Instagram keeps pictures chronologically, okay? So your newer pictures are at the top. Your first pictures are at the bottom. So when I feature someone, I start at the top and I kind of roll down. Now, I, I, maybe I should go from the bottom up. I don't know. Maybe that would be better. I, I, I have no fucking clue, but that's how I do it. I start at the top and I go to the bottom. Um, yesterday, I got back only about two months. When I kept saying, because I thought about it after I said it, I was like, maybe people don't understand what that means. When I say I only got back two months, it means that like the last two months of his that I scrolled through... It was only two months worth of pictures, so we're going to go back over that again today. Why, why do you keep going out of focus? I'm right here! Lord! I need to have a studio, and I need somebody working a camera with a teleprompter. I don't know what the teleprompter would just say. It would just it would start, it would just say, talk, dick. And that's all I would say. And it would just keep rolling if nothing else. Shut the fuck up, build. Oh, yeah, 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 I gotta do that. <laughs> So that is what we're going to do today. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. I'm going to say hi to everybody. You guys want to say hi? Hello. I have a little bit of stuff in my teeth before I came down. Had some delicious pizza. In Columbus, Ohio, surprisingly, actually, we have we are the test food market of the United States. I don't know if you knew this, but we actually, I, I guess they figure that Columbus, Ohio has like the most regular fucking people in the United States because a lot of restaurants, uh, fast food, a lot of fast food, a lot of chain restaurants test market in Columbus, Ohio. So if somebody has a new sandwich or somebody has a new restaurant idea or anything, it usually we get it here first. And that's, that's the hand of God. That's the truth. 
Um, we have a pizza place here that I don't know. I think it's only in the Midwest because when I lived out west, they didn't have it. When I lived in New York, they didn't have it. It's called Donato's. And it is like, I grew up on Donato's pizza and it's fantastic. It's like real thin crust, like cooked very, it's cooked almost crispy, kind of like a cracker. Not really though, a little more doughy than a cracker, but it's like a seasoned crust, like garlic and salt and pepper and all that stuff cooked really crisp. And then uh, it's uh, not cut like a regular pizza. It's cut um, like in sections. Instead of cutting it like a pie like they do in New York and other places, no, they cut it like in these like small sections. Um, it's fantastic. Well, anyway, when I was going with that is I had a couple pieces of pizza before I came down and had a little pizza residue on my teeth. I saved that for later. Wife told me the other day, she's like, God, you need to floss. I don't know, do you guys floss? Apparently, if you do not floss, now my wife is studying to be a dentist, so she fucking knows this shit. And she's like, uh, you know, if you don't floss, you're going to lose all your teeth. And I'm like, dude, I have, I have like great teeth. I have great teeth. I have had like one cavity in my whole life. I mean, I brush and like take care of my teeth and shit like you're supposed to. Even when I was drinking, I was like, because I get obsessed about things. I think I told you this. Like there was one point in my life that I was brushing my teeth like 12 times a day. Yeah. 12 times a day. It was all, it was, it was weird. Like my wife, my ex-wife at the time was like, why are you, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, are you brushing your brother your teeth again? I was like, yeah, I don't like, I don't like them dirty. I like them feel dirty. But I had brushed away. Like I had brushed so much. That, like, my gums were receding because I was, like, beating the living hell out of them with this fucking toothbrush. So don't do that. Puff up, Wheeler. Don't brush like that, sir. Take it from me. I know. What was I doing? <laughs> the fuck was I doing? Oh, yeah, I got to say hi to everybody. Hold on. <laughs> it's a fucking shit show. It's a shit show. Let me have some more coffee. Hold on. <laughs> no, let me get off track again because I'll fucking forget. Hold on. <laughs> let me some more coffee. Uh, got Yeti wire back. See that? Put that back up there today. I always change this around. Shy Tots. Dory liquid right in the center. My buddy. Get Raja! What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you. I'm super glad you're here, Raja. I noticed on your little emblems, like, I don't understand how you do this. Your emblems, when you do, like, a fist or a hand, it's black. Or it's a brown hand. I don't How, how do you do that? You can change the colors of your hands? Like, you can be, like, I have a green hand... I need a black cat hand. I can get like a cat hand. That would be fucking sweet. If I can get like a cat fist, like a little paw. They got those? Somebody's calling me. Hold on. <laughs> Put this over here. I think it's work. <laughs> I can ignore it. Oops. <laughs> I want. I need to get that. Tell me. Send me a message. Tell me how you do that. Cause I want. I want to change mine to a cat hand. Black cat, white face, vapes. That's me. I drink champagne when I'm thirsty. Used to. Not anymore. Blades. What's up, dude? How you doing, brother? Great to see you. Bones. Good to see you, brother. How you doing over there in the UK land? UK. How's it going, man? Oh, I ordered some stuff from China. I don't know if I told you that, yeah. So supposedly there's a $25 tariff, 25% tariff increase. Stuff ordered from China. Got the uh, banana split, uh, banana, banana spada, banana, banana spada, uh, mech mod. Now back in the mechs now. It's 21,700. Uh, mech mod, beautiful. It's car copper with black seracoding. Fucking really excited to get it. Got it from 3F Vape. Now, it's an authentic, even though it's from 3F Vape. They were the first to have it and the first to get it out. So, supposedly, it's in Los Angeles. I don't know how fucking long it's going to be there, though. Because I think I have to pay a 25% tariff on it. I, I don't even got anything in the mail. Tell me to pay it. I just want my fucking mod. So, if you're in LA, when you drive over to where they ship that thing in and be like, Black Cat has a fucking mod here. And I need that immediately, sir. Brian! What's happening, brother? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Glad you're here. Cows! What's up, Cal's Irons? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Chessie. What's up, Chessie? How you doing, hon? Good to see you. Hope you're feeling better. Up and around, moving around. Moving around, getting around. Hope you are. Glad you're here. Freddy! Clean as fuck coils. What's up, Freddy? Freddy. Freddy almost Freddy had a little had some panics. He had some panics the other day. He said, hey, Black Cat took me off his list. I don't have my list with me. Freddie, you're on the fucking list. You, sir, are on the list. I would never, ever. First off. I'm not, I would never, ever take anybody off the list, ever. I mean, you literally, like, if, like, somebody, like, got on the, somebody, like, did a crime or murdered somebody, maybe, you're like, I don't fucking know, but would we even know that if that happened? But, like, I would never take anybody off the list, you know? That's not cool, man. So, yeah, you're on the list, bro. You're, like, um, you're, like, three back. I think I got Ryan. I don't have my list with me, but I got Ryan, I got Phenos, the team, and then I think you, but there might be somebody in there, too. It's, like, it's, like, three weeks. It's, like, three weeks out. Good to see you, man. Friday, I'm glad you're here, brother. Clint! 
<laughs> you don't have to tell me you're on my fucking lawn when you're not on my fucking lawn. When I see you standing on my lawn. How that joke originated, sir, was actually I was on your fucking lawn. You remember that? You were my elderly black neighbor that stared at me because I was on his fucking lawn. Mad as hell. <laughs> It's like, you remember how, like, old dudes, like, a barbershop or something, they're like, old black dudes, they're just like, they do not take shit from fucking anybody's like, get the fuck off my lawn. <laughs> Love that shit, man. Easy Rider, what's up, Easy? Great to see you, man. Glad you're here. Frank Einstein. What's up, Frank? How you doing, man? You know, you mentioned the other day that somebody had called you Frank, or was it Frankenstein? I never thought about that. That's actually Frankenstein, because that's not your name. Not your name. I sent you stuff. Got your, I got your address and your name, sir, so I would tread lightly. Just kidding. What's up, dude? Good to see you, Frank. Greg! Greg Schultz. Greg! Did you get done moving? Did you move moving? Did you move? Where'd you move to? Didn't you say you were moving to, like, Juneau, Alaska, something like that? Up north? Great White North? Is that where you went? You fisherman? You fisherman, Greg? Is that what you do? You fish? I fucking went to school with this guy. Let me tell you something. I went to fucking school with this guy. This guy was like a normal dude, right? And I uh, needed money and he was in a pinch. So he, we were, this guy, there was these people that would come down to where we went to school and they would, uh, they would pitch you on different jobs. They pitch you on all kinds of jobs, painting and furniture moving and long, all over the road trucking, like fucking ride with the truck. Or all. Like I was like, I ain't fucking doing that. that sounds creepy as hell. But uh, they pitched him to do fishing in Alaska. He went up there and never came back. I don't know if he died or what. He never came back. He went up there to do crab fishing one summer. I don't, it was like the end of the like end of the summer, and then he went up, and then he came back for like a week, and then he said that they like the or not a week, like a couple of months or whatever, and then he said like they they had a, their big fishing time was getting ready to start, like king crab season or snow crab season or whatever. So he fucking went back, and he fucking never came back. He stayed up there. I don't know. He might have. He might be dead. I don't know. People die. That's a dangerous fucking job. Seen that? You seen that show? Is that show called The Bering Sea? What's that called? Uh, crab, crab world, crab world. Is it called crab world? You know what I'm talking about. Where was I? Ian, what's up, Ian? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. Glad you are here. Jason Campbell. What's happening, Jason? How you doing, man? JC, as it were. JC. That's what I'm gonna call you from now on, JC. John Rents. What's up, John Rents? How you doing, man? Scroll on down. I think I see Mr. Lou Frigg now. What's up, Lou? How you doing, Nick? Great to see you, brother. Glad you are here, sir. O-M-G. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up, OMG? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Church! What's up, Otis Redding Church? How you doing, man? Great to see you, brother. Glad you are here. Casper, the friendly ghost. What's up, Paul? How you doing? Perry! Well, sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Woo! I guess sitting up here. I am all jacked up on caffeine. I had a Mountain Dew on the way home, and I'm, I get this super nitro coffee. I don't know if you noticed. You notice that? <laughs> super nitro. It's like, I, I don't know how much caffeine's in it. A lot. You know, I was thinking, you know, nicotine is relatively close to what caffeine is as far as like physical effects, I believe. It's like an upper and, a, you know, stimulant, things like that. If they're going to really start limiting, like, I wonder how long it's going to take them to start limiting caffeine. Like, I, I really think about shit like that. Like, it always seems like it's going to progress into something like that. I really hope they don't do that. I really hope they don't. That would suck. Where was I? Miss Jackson. Putt Putt Wheeler. What's up, Putt Putt? <laughs> That's a fucking great name, dude. Putt Putt Wheeler. You sound like an old, like, 20s baseball player. Fucking awesome. Philly. What's up, Philly Babes? How you doing, man? Great to see you. Tim, Saturation Station. How you doing, man? Great to see you, sir. Stand up 3D. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, man? Wonderful to see you, sir. Take in a motherfucking boob with Smith. <laughs> What's up, Smith? Saw you on uh, 300 show yesterday. I love that show. 300, him, and uh, oh, I just, I love uh, Kimmy. I think Kimmy's great. She's just fun as hell. And um, uh, Foolish and you. Yeah, and Ackman Raw's on there sometimes. You guys, I, I like that show a lot. I don't always comment. Like, I'll be watching it when I'm watching TV, but I'll, I'll, I watch. I don't always comment in the thing, but I'm watching, yeah. I really like you guys. You guys have great chemistry. You guys are funny. Uh, Randy, what's up, Randy? How you doing, man? Saw you sneak in here. Let me go back down here. Travis, uh, the Wolf. What's up, Wolf? How you doing, Mr. Wolf? Good to see you, man. Glad you are here, sir. Travis Harp. What's up, Harp? How you doing? Good to see you, brother. Bateman of Pete's Place. What's up, Pete? How you doing, man? Good to see you. I I watched Pete's show the other day. He had a uh, Mad Dog on there, and uh, 
I, 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 I'll tell you, talk about like, th- this is what I keep saying. English people are so much nicer than fucking Americans. I was watching Pete's, so he's just so friendly and like, you know, helping people and hey, go check out this guy's page and do this and that and the other. Pete, you're just such a gentleman, dude. I really enjoyed watching your show. If you don't, if you don't subscribe to Pete's place, you really should. He does uh, live shows and uh, reviews and things like that. Just a very knowledgeable person in vaping and things like that. And just a heck of a guy, quite frankly. It's fucking awesome watching your show, man. I'm glad you're here, Pete. Thank you for watching, dude. And I got anybody else? I think I know I saw uh, my brother from another mother would, would take Mike in there. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you. All right, back to live chat. Hey, there's Shane. What's up, dude? How you doing, Shane? Merlin, what's up? Merle. What's going on, guys? Great to see everybody. All right, so we're going to continue with the review of Mass Coils. I'm going to reintroduce him again just in case somebody missed the first episode. So if you missed the first episode, I'd ask you to go back and watch it. It's vaping at five. The one, one, one was yesterday. It was a Black Cat's featured builder, Mass Coils. That was part one. I went through the beginning of his builds. You're going to have a chance to win a set of his coils tomorrow. To win a set of his coils, what you need to do, you're going to win a set of his coils and a set of my coils. What you're going to need to do is put a number between 1 and 100 in yesterday's episode, episode 111 of the Vape at 5. You'll see a build by Mass Coils. It's a, um, you'll see it on there. It's a colored uh, stovetop. Uh, alien, alien Milhawk stove top. You'll see it on there. Joey to the motherfucking O. What's up, dude? How you doing? <clears throat> Cloudy, what's up, brother? All right, so I'm going to uh, reintroduce now. If you don't know Mass Coils, Mass Coils is a French builder. He's on the team uh, Suck My Build. It's his. T- uh, he is the uh, person who created that team. Um, he's looking to be on a team, an American team. So if you, I mean, you want to pick up one of the best builders in the, on fucking earth that's looking for a team, I would I would suggest talking to Mass. Uh, Mass is unbelievable, man. I, I, and you'll see what I'm going to show you guys today again. Um, I, I talked yesterday about traditional builders and progressive builders, and you know, um, like daily build, like guys who build aliens and things like that. Like I like to do. There's all different kinds of classes of builders in our community, and no 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 group is better than any other group, but but groups are different. And Mass goes into this, like, he's like in this progressive, I consider a progressive type builder. He's doing different things. He's innovative, trying different things, um, and really pushing the envelope of, of what, you know, coil building is about. And it is really fantastic to have guys like that. That is what we need. And, you know, we need everything. We need the traditionalist. We need, you know, we need the everyday guys, and we need the progressive guys. And so nobody's no important to each other, but, you know, he really fits that role really well. All right, without further ado... Let's take it down to the laptop and take a look at mass coils. So here is where we stopped yesterday, I believe. No, I did the side boob there. I did this one. Oh, no, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me you're doing the thinking thing. I might have to bring his page back up. So pardon me for one second, guys. Ignore the inception there. That is my... Oh, I had it right there on my safe thing. Wouldn't have been funny if I had to pull that up and like all my, all my fucking, uh, all my history was like all Pornhub. <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't look at porn actually at all, but not that I don't, not that I wouldn't like to. I just don't. All right. Let's go back down here. All right. There we go. There we go. Okay. So let's get down to. Around where we were yesterday. Apparently, it closed up everything and moving back up. All right, so we did this build. God, I'm just fucking amazing, Mass. Okay, here's where I stopped yesterday. I did. Okay, I stopped with this Juggernaut. Um, this build here, which is the Juggernaut in the spiral, the spiral build. This is in a postless deck. Um, around this ribbon stitched enigma. He calls it his cap. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that photography is. Just absolutely gorgeous. We got to see a color picture of this though. Let's see a picture of it colored up. If he's got one. Oh, he does right here. Of course he does. Let's grab this one. Huh. Yeah. I, you know, it's hard for me to even like, 
it's hard for me to explain explain how beautiful I think that is. I mean, I think that is just absolutely beautiful. Everything about it is just absolutely beautiful, man. God, amazing work, mask. Absolutely beautiful, my friend. Here's a wick shot. Grab this. Looks like a uh, Suka. One year ago, he made this. Little suka, little uh, suka over frame staple and some co cotton in there. How cool is that? Look at those colors. I mean, the, the photo really brings out the brilliance of the colors, especially against that white cotton. How beautiful that is! You got that gold against the purple into that into the kind of like lighter blue and then that dark blue in the middle. Just absolutely beautiful mass. Okay, let's see if we can get a bigger. Here's another. This that may is that Mass, did I ever ask you, is that the tw that's gotta be the 24. That can't be the 30. Here is a ribbon stitched enigma. Now I call it an enigma, uh interlock enigma, but the original enigma is a um interlock. Uh again, now the things to notice on this. First off, how excellent the photography is just brilliant but if you look at the framed ribbon inside you can see the different colors and the reason and again what well, the reason there are different colors is because he mixes up his alloys so he's got stainless in there he's got uh nichrome in there um hell he may even have canthal in there as well but it all colors different at different temperatures so you get this like beautiful different you know stripes inside the actual build and that's just beautiful, man. He's got the golds into the light purple into the... He's got the, the light purple against the dark purple and then the light purple against the dark blue. Just absolutely brilliant. A little purge. Is that the, that's the twisted, I believe, is what they call that purge. I, I'm looking at getting the enforcer. Little pricey, though. Let's take a look at this. Okay. So, what he did here was he took two pieces, uh, four pieces of ribbon, staggered it, then he used that to frame another piece of ribbon on either side and a corrugated piece. He then sti he then uh, staggered that with a piece of twisted wires, again, mixing his alloys, that's why you get the different colors. Then he reframed that again with two pieces of round wire, and I don't know if, I don't think that's an alien, that's just a regular... Uh, stagger there then he staggered in the gaps of he st basically skip fused or skip staggered and then he staggered in the gaps beautiful man now here's a better picture of it so he's got that swung inside of a oh don't tell me are you gonna do it to me you sure are Okay, one second, guys. Let me. Yesterday it was it was working with me so well, and then today it's because I didn't reboot my PC. That's exactly why it's doing it. I typically reboot my PC every uh, morning, but I didn't reboot it because I didn't want to lose my spot. So let's go to mass, and we'll go back down. <laughs> Okay, excuse me guys for that. Sorry. All right. Well, this is the opposite. So, may oh yeah, yeah. So he did the opposite. This is the opposite build. Let's go back down to that. Right here. Let's grab this one. All right. So he has a super staggered in. He um, spaced it. And then inside of it, he has that giant corrugated bill that he put inside. Again, just being innovative, not, you know, just making a nice super staggered in it is a, is a fantastic build and a, and a very challenging build. Keeping that ribbon straight when you're framed with it. Anybody who does that, when you're framing another build with ribbon on the outside, you have two pieces, that ribbon wants to come over top of each other. It's hard. To keep it that well framed, if you look at his... his uh, 
stagger how clean it is you can barely but he's got a little bit of ribbon peeking through absolutely beautiful mass oh here's a really cool picture it's like every time i look at his builds like i think of something it like makes me think of something else like that makes me think of like a train track or something going into a tunnel Here we have another super staggered, and this may actually be the same coil that he has in the dot mod. That may actually be the same one. Let's take a look. No, I don't think it is. Staggered groove with 40 and 44. Okay. So he groove fused it with 44 gauge. Very nice, man. God, you put a lot of builds out. There you go. There's that build right there. That's the one we were just looking at, I believe. Maybe. Corrugated variant. Fused by Twisted. Look at the colors on that. Look at the colors on that. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. That is gorgeous. Oh, come on. You're doing it again. It's happening. It's happening again. Well, guys, it may be cut short. If I can't keep it going here, I don't know exactly what else. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. I got it. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Let me see if it lets me go back. Look at that little ramp shot there coming out of the uh, clamp. Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot. It took me back to the beginning. Daggone it. Instagram is so much easier to use on a phone than it is on a PC. Just takes up the memory of your uh, uh, browser too quickly. Okay, so here we go. Here's something different we haven't looked at. So, Inception Braid. 14 loops and a staggered and with a twist. <laughs> There's that staggered in again with the twist and then fused again. And a braid inside. 14 loop braid. The guy can do it all. Beautiful, man. Let's get the head on shot. Look at that. Little pre color on it. Again, he doesn't just use ribbon. He's got the uh, square wire in there as well. Two pieces of ribbon, a piece of square wire. Two pieces of ribbon, square wire. Two pieces. Reframed again. And uh, fused with that twisted. Wow. That's just a gorgeous shot. That is absolutely gorgeous, man. Wow. Oh my God, look at this. Okay. I don't know where to start. Um, first off, this looks like it is just one coil. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm not 100% positive, but that's what it looks like. Um, I don't know what you would call this how you would call it being coiled like this. Uh, but it's absolutely beautiful, man. I love how you spun it right there. I think that looks so cool. Almost looks like, you know, DNA, the hel DNA helix. It's a good picture of that. 
Wow. Absolutely amazing, man. Hmm. I love that. There you go. I would guess it's a staple or a fuse clapton. Beautiful shot. No, it's a fuse clapton. I can see the end of it there. Absolutely beautiful, man. And that dot mod RDA, which is just a gorgeous RDA. That's beautiful. Look at the color shot you got on that, man. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful picture. Beautiful. Okay. This almost looks like a like a transformer that you would see in uh, like at a power company. Oh, called the barbecue. So it's supposed to be the grill. I'm not even going to try to attempt to tell you what it all is. And I see corrugated pieces. I see it looks like something maybe 24 gauge. Wow. Okay, here we go. Look at this thing. Look at that. Wow. That's super staggered, and then he's got a helix around it. I see he's got a color shot of this. I'm sure he does. There's one. Let's see if he's got a better one. Here we go. Looks like he uh, polished the helix build. Wow. Oh my God, here's another one. Look at this. Wow, man. That's all I can say is wow. <laughs> Unfreaking believable mass. Unbelievable, man. Uh, Alien Suka over the uh, Inception build over Super Staggerton in the Ghoul RDA. Suka Seption Staggerton. Mm. Look at the colors on that helix. Oh, he did like a uh, almost like a pitchfork helix. He has the first two. If you see here, he's got his first fuse is around two pieces of ribbon on either side, and then he did another one right after that. Wow. <laughs> okay. What in God's name? Two inceptions with a twisted, polished, so, Twisted Mirror, Stitch, Double Ferris Wheel, and the Templar RDA. Wow. Wow, look at the photo. The coloring on that metal ribbon there. 
But unbelievable, man. Is that the Bane? Yeah. The Bane. Oh, that's the Black Nickel. I'll be damned. I have a, a stainless steel Bane. That's the Black Nickel, huh? That's fucking beautiful, man. Very expensive setup. That's a better picture of the Black Nickel, how it actually looks. I don't think, I think it's sold out. That's uh, H-Stone Mods. H Stone Mods is a Italian uh, mod making company. They make a lot of uh, squonk mods now. They used to only make mechs. And they make some of the their their uh, <coughs> their Vader mod Vader mech is my favorite mech of all time. Beautiful man. All right, I gotta wipe my mouth because I've been drooling for the last twenty minutes. That is Maskless. <laughs> I applaud you, sir. Fucking amazing, dude. You blow me away. You really do. And, and I'll tell you, it has been an absolute ple <clears throat> excuse me, pleasure to bring you, bring you to uh, on the show and hopefully uh, get you some. People can see your amazing work, man, if they haven't had a chance to see it before. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope you, know, you get the attention that you, do, you uh, deserve. What's the X1? Oh, don't tell me X1 to do some kind. I can't do any of those builds. I can't do that. What's the X1? Let me look. X1, 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 X1. To get Black Tech to try to build one of Matt's Coil's builds. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I can't. I can't do that. Um, I mean, okay. Okay, to appease my viewing audience, to appease you guys, you guys are all over me, I tell you, you know, I can never, I'm like, I feel like I am just, you know, the, the, the father that can never, ever satisfy their children. I buy everything you want, everything you want, everything, get it all. Tomorrow, I'll do a super staggered in. How's that sound? Is that, is that fair? A super staggered in? I'll do it tomorrow. So I was going to do a staggered in anyway. I'll frame it with some ribbon, and I'll, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Stop putting X1! X1 will get you nowhere! X1 will get you booed. <laughs> Who's up next? Ryan B. 34 is up next. You'll be very impressed with Ryan B. too. Another fucking unbelievable builder. So, yeah, it's a tough act to follow. I, I, yeah, it is. I, uh, I, I really think um, Mass is a rare breed. He's a rare breed in the building. Yeah, he really is. I, I've been watching him now for a long time. Like, I, I, I forget what build caught me, but uh, one of them got me, and I've been watching him for months now. Just, like, really, really enjoying his work. And when I first did the feature building, like, it was one of the guys I was like, you know, like Ramo and, and, and Proby and, you know, like, this guy's, you know, that is really, really wanted Nick, guy that I really want on here. And everybody I featured, I mean, I, I'm not taking away from anybody, you know. But uh, Mass was, was one of the guys that I really, really wanted to get on the show. Okay, now, going back to my style. Told you. Different styles of builders. I am a traditional builder. Mass is a progressive builder. Progressively, much better than me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a, uh, so I blew that build yesterday. I was all out. out of sorts. I was out of sorts because uh, the fucking cat kept fucking up my decor. I couldn't keep it straight. <laughs> but like, I don't think the cats are going to bother me today. So I'm going to do my 30T build today. 30T build is 3.4 uh, pieces of ribbon, or excuse me, square wire, uh, wrapped in 36, three and a half uh, uh, millimeter jig, four wraps. That is is my 30T bill. It comes out to like 0 0.086. So, let me get my 0.4. And first, and then, I need to make a decor. So, let's do that first before we go anywhere. <laughs> and I think I'm going to mix them up today. I think I'm going to do a little third, I'm going to do a little uh, stainless steel over nichrome. Give it a little extra oomph. 
super staggered in and said, no, no, I'm not fucking doing that. No, no, I don't have time. Do you think, look how mad I am. I just like ripped the fucking wire apart. That's how I'm angry. You don't, <laughs> I'm like Bruce Banner. You wouldn't like me when I get angry. I'll fucking break wire, break your face with my wire. No, I don't have time. Do you think, okay, do you really think that Mass does those builds in fucking 30 minutes? You think he does them in 30 minutes, really? I remember when I first started building, and I started watching videos of people building live. Like, I thought that everybody, like, did these builds in, like, 30 minutes an hour. Like, I thought somebody did, like, a fucking, like, super great stagger build in, like, 30 minutes. I didn't realize that it takes forever. No matter what skill level you're at, it takes forever to do those builds. It really does. And, you, and the reason why it takes forever is because you want it to be right. You know what I mean? And I just don't have the fucking patience. I just don't have... Like, after literally, after 10 minutes of staggering, I literally want to just, like, drive a fucking pair of pliers in my face. It, it just... Oh, it's God. It's, I just don't have the fucking patience. And I always say... And, and, and I said this the other day, and uh, Merlin was like, you know, I'm older than you, Scott, but... I think staggering is a young man's game. I really, really do. I don't think old people are meant to stagger. I, I, I can't, I just can't do it. And, uh, you know, I'll stick to my fucking aliens and I'll do a staggered in. I like staggered ins. They're cool. They're easy to do. You just fucking goes right in the groove. <laughs> All right, let me read some of the chat here. See what you guys are talking about. I'm afraid you guys are running off. Running off with concepts that aren't going to happen on the Vapor 5, sir. <laughs> X5 for new car and puppy and a sub to Playboy. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, did somebody get a new... Did you get a new puppy, Chessie? Did you get a new puppy? X4 for Shetland Pony. Yeah, if you're going to... Absolutely. If you're going to make it, you got... Yeah. Like, literally. A lot of... Like, and I'll tell you this, too. On a lot of builds like that, you'll spend a couple hours and you won't get it and you'll throw it away. Yeah. Like when I was qualifying for my build team, uh, I threw a lot of builds away. It sucked. Hey, Ramo, what's up? I threw a lot of stuff away. A lot of builds I spent probably an hour, hour and a half, two hours on. Start didn't go the way I wanted to. I fucking threw it away and started again. It sucks, man. It just I just don't like doing that. It just uh, it feels like a complete waste of my fucking time. But there's people who can do it without throwing stuff away, you know. Hey, what's up, Richie? How you doing, man? Good to see you, dude. Richie is on the list of featured builders. He'll be following Mr. Mindforge. We're about, uh, gosh, I think you're about six, seven weeks out. If the wife does not kill him. Now, remember, I told you guys this before. If I end up dead, okay, and it's not from like you know something obvious like there, there's it's like a suspicious death. My fucking wife killed me. She'll fucking kill me. Keep that in mind. I want you guys as my witness, or a couple of days, right, Richie? And throw it away. You don't get it. You fucking have to throw it away. It sucks. I don't want to do that. Hey, what's up, JTH? Mike, what's up? Cam, how you doing? Yeah, Ray. You know, I love making aliens. I really do. And I don't get sick of it. I don't get sick of it. There's something about the way that the, um, the way they fuse. I just love to watch it. Plus, I got my macro camera fixed. So you guys will be able to see it better. But I can understand that. Oh, Richie, thank you, dude. I'm honored, man. I'm so honored to have you to feature you, dude. I like it made made my whole week, day, month. Yeah. Thank you, man. You're a true gentleman. She covered her track well, Nick. That's why I need you, Nick, to make sure that you fucking get put her in, get her in the get her locked up.
Uh, drop Kenny, what's up, dude? How you doing, Kenny Holt? Uh, the next Drop the Shame is on uh, Saturday. We don't have a guest. I don't know who the guest is yet. So we don't have a guest yet that I know of. Uh, now, Yeti may have one because sometimes I'll get a guest and I'll tell him. And sometimes, you know, a lot of times, like, he'll get a guest, he'll tell me. Or I'll get a guest, I'll, he'll tell, I'll, you know, it just depends. But I haven't got a guest this for this weekend, so um, so it might just be me and Yeti, which is fine. <clears throat> we try to do that. We were, we were actually thinking about doing another show um, on Sunday, uh, once a month, and it was just going to be called After the Shame, and it was just going to I think I'd probably run it on my channel, maybe? And... Uh, it was going to be like just a recap of that month's Drop the Shames. Uh, but we just haven't really pulled the trigger on it yet. Plus our Sundays. I don't do any streaming on Sunday. And I do streaming pretty much every day. Like when on my week, like this week, I'll stream five shows on my channel. And then I stream one show on Tommy's, which is a two-hour show. And then I stream Drop the Shame, which is an hour and a half. So it's a lot. You know what I mean? So to add another show Sunday, that's a lot, man. I'll tell you, you need a fucking break. Because, you know, <clears throat> on the... The Drop the Shame show takes a lot out of us. It really does. Because it's not shit you really want to talk about. I think I mentioned this before. You don't really want to fucking talk about shit like that. But you do because it's your job. Like, it's my job as a recovering alcoholic to help other alcoholics. Like, that's my job. I have to do that. And, like, that's part of my recovery. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I take that shit real serious. Like, that's, like, but it takes a lot out of us to do it. Like, we don't want to fucking talk about that shit. I don't want to tell you what a fucking ass, what a bad person I am. You know what I mean? I don't want you guys to think that of me, and, and but you do it because you want to, you know, so sun, having Sunday off is kind of nice, and then on weekends, I don't have Drop the Shame, I get both days off, but sometimes I'll do a sh another show, just depends, so I don't know if we're going to do another, sun I guess what, I guess what I'm getting at is, I don't know if we're going to have, I don't know if we're going to do another Drop the Shame, uh, in addition to, I fucked it all up. I gotta unreal it. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, it's completely off the reel. Son of a bitch. All right, let's just let it off. Ugh. Let it go completely, and just reel it back. This point four, like you can't, you can't negotiate. It's too stiff, so you just got to kind of let it go the way it wants to go, which is all right. I'll get it back on here. Is Cincinnati this weekend? Is Cincinnati this weekend? Vape show? Because I'm going, if it is. Chewy Guru. Blueberry milkshake. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Is mesh coil still cool? Um, You know, I never used mesh. Uh, I've heard really good things about them, though. But I've never used mesh. Uh, I don't use any pre-made. So if I was going to use mesh, I would actually purchase like uh, stainless steel mesh and then do it myself. But uh, I have never, I've never used it. I've heard really good things about it, though. But uh, I don't know anything. I, I would be really curious if it breaks up at high heat. That would be my, that would be my problem with using it, um, especially stainless steel mesh, because stainless steel breaks apart pretty, pretty easily at high heat, and uh, you know, mesh is pretty, you know, it's pretty fine metal. So without, you know, just by itself, I would be wondering if it would break apart on you. You know, when it break, well, by breaking apart, I mean fragments of the metal would come off and go into your lungs. Um, or worse, it would, it would get, current, you know, stainless steel when heated. That's why you can't uh, dry burn stainless steel. You should never dry burn stainless steel to where it's red. Because uh, can you still join if it's dry? Yeah. Yeah, dude, drop the shames about... It's not just about alcohol. No, dude, it's about addiction. Gambling, sex, drugs, anything. And it, you don't have to be an addict to watch it. It's for families, everybody. Everybody who's, who's ever been affected by addiction or is curious about it. There are some people that just watch that, like, you know, messages that are just, they don't know anything about it. And they ask us questions about, like, you know, we're not experts. We're just a couple drunks. You know what I mean? But, you know, you try to give people information and, Hopefully they uh, help them at some time in their life if they're in a situation. You know, I think the big thing, the big thing that I think that has got to be really tough is um, parents of addicts who aren't addicts. 
Um, you know, their kids are addicts. They just don't get it. You just don't get it. You don't understand. You're fucking terrified by it. And the whole thing about like not being an addict and, and it's, it's easy to see is you just tell them, just quit. Just fucking stop doing that. That's the way my dad is. My dad's just like, just don't do it anymore. It's like, dude, you just don't get it. Like, but they don't understand. And it's not their fault. You know what I mean? They just don't understand it. They don't understand how your fucking brain works. You know, my brain does not function like a normal fucking human being. It never will. Never will again. My brain, I will always be fucked up when it comes to addictions, things like that. Wife and I were talking about that the other day. We had a, a friend who had to go in the hospital and uh, they had to, admin, uh, had to give him uh, narcotics for pain. And, uh, you know, they, they left him. He left there with narcotics um, for pain. And uh, that's, like, that's like my worst nightmare. That is my worst fucking nightmare. And that's the, that's the reason why. Like, if I go into anywhere, if I go into anywhere, I need it to be on my chart. I am a fucking addict. Do not give me anything. Don't give me anything. Unless it is administered by a doctor in a fucking hospital. It needs to be administered, controlled, and everything. Because I can't trust myself with it. I know I can't. I, I, I fucking love that shit. I'll fucking eat them all. I can't. And I know that about myself. Because once you start taking them, your mind changes. Like right now, my mind's clear and I wouldn't do it. But if I were given it and I do one, it's I'm off to the fucking races. I, I won't stop. Like I know how my mind, once I get in that, that mode, I'm done. Did I lose it? Oh, there it is. So, anyway. No, 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 no. We're not in to drop the shame. No, 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 no. I think I, I think I said that wrong. We were thinking about doing a summary, uh, a summary show called After the Shame, once a week, or once a month. But we decided not to do it. We we're gonna do like a. No, we're not in to drop the shame. Uh, uh not for, not for a long time. I mean, like I, like I said about Drop the Shame from the very beginning, same thing with this show, is this show will go, you know, that Drop the Shame will go, you know, as long as it can go. Like when Yeti and I like don't want to do it anymore, when we feel like our stories are kind of dry and nobody wants to hear us anymore, then we'll pass the show on to somebody else and they keep it going. That's what our hope is. Hopefully that, you know, maybe that's grandiosity, my, grand, my, you know, grandiosity thinking that somebody would want to do it. But, um... You know, that's our, that's our hope is that drop the shame is its own thing. Drop the shame is its own entity. We just happen to be the hosts, you know, we're just the guys talking on it now, but it, it's its own thing. So like after, you know, Yeti and I feel like, you know, as long as we're helping people, then I don't see a reason to, to stop it. But if we ever get to a point where we're not, where we don't feel like we're helping as many people as we should be, or not devoting enough time to it or something like that, then... You know, it's, a, it's our time to pass it on to somebody else who can put forth the effort. Same with this show, you know. Once I, once I, you know, hopefully, you know, there's a vaping show that does advocacy and building and fun for people. And hopefully there's one, you know, there's plenty of them. I shouldn't say there, hopefully there is, because there's plenty of them. But, uh, you know, I would just, somebody else can do this show. It doesn't need to be me. Oh, I think I have a visitor. I think I have a guest. I have a guest. What is in the bag? What's in the bag? Stuff for the girls. Where are the kids at? Home. Home? Oh, you're talking about Layton? Yeah. They went over to Whitney's for chili tonight. Why don't we ever get invited to Whitney's chili parties? I don't know. You know why it is. Well, no, yeah, well. They're, they're over there smoking the marijuana. Well, not only that, they're making beer chili, and I don't eat beer. What do we have for dinner? Somewhere. We're going somewhere? Want to go chicken wings? That's fine. Chicken I'm wings. Bob Evans. Bob Evans? I said Richard or Bob Evans. What? What making you want Bob Evans? I don't know. I just seen it on the way home when I dropped that thing off at the UPS. What thing? My glasses. Oh, yeah, you did, did you? How was work? Long. You seem like you're kind of burnt out. What are you doing? I'm building. Live. I'm on my show. We're just doing a little show. Talking about building. Having some food. Not really having food. I had a couple pieces of pizza when I got home. We could eat that pizza up and eat it again. It's fucking fantastic. There's not enough for you and I. I knew that would be a no. You do not eat leftovers. No, I don't. So quit trying to pawn that shit off on me. <laughs> 
I think the... Oh, okay. Thank you, DB. Okay, I was going to say, I thought the Vape Expo was this week, but or this month, this week. Not until September. Oh, I'm sorry, Perry. Yeah, it... Tell you, it, uh... It... Changes people. Once you get in that mindset, like, it can happen to anybody. Like, it happened to me t today. If I, like, I was talking to Ron, Veronica, I was talking about, I was telling him about how we were talking about going to the hospital and them giving me narcotics and shit. Huh? If I went to the hospital, I have to, how I have to tell them that I'm an alcoholic, an addict, and I can't have any narcotics. Yeah, about it. I was just telling them about it. Because I know, like, once you start, once I take this into my body, my mind changes back to the way it was. Veronica will kill me. Like I said, I, I just told them this. If I end up dead, anytime, anytime you hear I'm dead, and it's, it's anything suspicious, arrest Veronica immediately because she fucking killed me. You don't hear arguing. Okay, gang. We should tell them some milk stories. That's what we should tell them about their dad. My, my, my father in law. That's what we should tell them. Halloween Reeves, when, today? No, not today. I was going to say, Leighton was talking about Halloween the other day. It's like, dude, Halloween's like fucking two and a half months away. It's really not, sir. Kind of is. What? Kind of is. What do you mean it's really not? Kind of is. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. There we go. Fire's all messed up. It's all messed up! Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? Hey, nurse! All right. All right. What are you doing? Got laundry over there? All right, here we go. With Ramo, since 2000, congratulations, dude. Since 2006, that's fucking awesome, man. Congratulations. First time I got sober was in 2009. Made it from, I made it for uh, 26 months. Over, no, yeah, 26 months. Yep. I got a fucking boy. When I when I stopped, when I when I went back out, I went back out hard as fuck. I went back out like a maniac. Five years, five year run. That's what. That's how I do. That's why I can't do it again. I don't have another one in me. I don't have another run in me. It'll it'll kill me. The yeah, album make it. I was close. I I was close to. I probably. I might still be alive now, but I would probably be in and out of the hospital. I was at that point where the last year, like the last year of your chronic alcoholism, you're like in the hospital in and out. It would have been like, it would have been like that. That's where I would have been. Nice, Tim. And, be and I'd be divorced. And man, me divorced. divorced and fuck you up. Fuck me up, would you? I'm telling you, she's going to kill me, guys. All right, let's go. Oh, I got the macro camera. Whoop. Let's get that on here. And let's turn that on. 
All right, guys, let's see what this macro camera looks like. Should be all cleaned up. There we go. Now you're talking. Okay. Looking pretty good so far, if I can keep the cat off of me. Oh, let me move myself out of the way here, ladies and gentlemen. What in God's name? What in God's name is going on? <clears throat> All right, sorry guys. It's a bad week for me. All right, let's finish. Let's just get the rest of it good, and I should be all right. I've got this damn. I can't really see. If you see how low this is here, it's hard for me to fucking see anything. Okay, why are you doing that? Is it doing that? What in God's name? Oh, guys, I'm stumped. It's flat as hell. Don't know why it keeps jacking up. I don't know what I'm doing incorrectly. I just don't have the feel, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if maybe I'm going, I'm going to slow it down and I, and, and I don't know why, but it feels like it's missing for some reason. There we go. Oh, push this down a little bit. There we go. I have no clue why it's doing that. It's so weird. It's like second day in a row. I don't know if I'm just not. Yeah, I can feel it. All right, let's move this move it over here. Actually, see a little bit, but no. Um, don't know why it keeps doing that. All right, let's let it roll.
Hmm. I'm going to guess and not make any excuses, but I'm going to guess that it is my swivels. That's what I'm going to guess because I haven't changed them in a while. Like a while, while. I've got a lot of use out of this one. So I'm guessing that maybe it's my swivels, but I don't know. Move myself out of the way. There you go. Okay, let's finish this up. I think I will have enough for a set. Just got a couple bumps in the beginning there. Move you guys down. Move myself out of the way. Hey, Drew, what's up, man? Let me get every bit of this I possibly can. See if I get that down a little further. Yeah, let's try to get this every bit I can get down. All right. Well, I finished up strong. I don't know what was happening in the beginning there, but I was having trouble. It, it would like go for a while, then I'd get like a loop, or a, uh, it would miss, and, and I don't I don't know why I was doing that. But. It is done now, and I finished out strong, so I got enough for a set. So, let's cut this off. All right. Let's see how much I got here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that worked. Cut it right there. That gives me three and a half. Throw that away. Put it back on here. Seven inches, three and a half. Take a look at it. That looks good. All right, let's wrap these up. And then we'll take a look at them. And then I gotta go because I'm going to get chicken wings. Chicken wing. What's up, Stu? Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of addicts and in, in builders. Yeah, there's something about it, man. There's something about it that it it uh, I don't know what it is. There's something about building that that it satisfies that part of our brain. I really think it satisfies that part of it, that addictive part of our brain. All right, swivel and hemostats. Hemo stat fur. All right, four wrap. Oh, I need my three and a half. On a three and a half. Jig. Chicken wing, chicken wings. Hey, mask coils. You see the show? 
Did I say hi to you? I don't know. I can't remember if I did or not. Hey, what's up, Giz? How you doing? Giz, you know I watched today? I watched uh, the Pink Pussy episode of uh, Golf Tea Vapes with Lipa. I watched it. I've never seen it. Hilarious. The funniest part about it is for me is, you know, Fresh and I are both recovering and watching Fresh's expressions during it, I know exactly how he felt. Because <laughs> the whole time, Fresh is thinking, fucking amateur night, right? <laughs> oh, you get drunk over there, little boy? <laughs> that used to be a fifth of Fireball? Yeah, that was a that was my what I called breakfast. <laughs> I'd go jogging after that. All right. Got me a couple of nice coils here. All right. Oh, I got a little ding in one. I can see a ding. It's all right. It will survive. Let's bring this down here so you guys can see them. All right, let's take a look, guys. There they is. A little spacing on them. Not too bad, though. A little side boob for you there. Ah, there you go. Set of... Thirty T aliens is what I'm gonna call them. Thirty T. All right, guys. Woo! We did a long show today. Extra fifteen minutes. Hope everybody had a fantastic time. I know I did. Fucking watching, uh, looking at mask coils is great fun for me. So I really, really enjoy it. Tonight on YouTube, you have a couple shows. One, you have uh, on Giz's channel. You have uh, is it pro not Project Fog? It's uh, what is that? What's it called, Giz? Giz, you're here. Put it in the chat. What's the name of that show? So, uh, 8.30. Thank you, Chessie. Thanks, Jason. Uh, 8.30 on Giz's channel is uh, Project Fog or, uh, God, I can't remember, but that show. And at 9 o'clock or 9.30 is uh, Nick's show, uh, End Divine 83 show. So I will see you in the chat of those shows. I hope everybody has a fantastic night. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and uh, hanging out with me today. Love you guys. Absolutely love you guys. Uh, thanks for listening to my bad jokes. Yeah. If you're in recovery, guys, stay strong, and I promise I will, too. I will see you tomorrow where we do a super staggered in. Ugh. On the vapor. <laughs>